Hey there YouTube, it's another product review. Today I am going to be doing the uh, St. Catherine's Midnight Run this year with my friend. Uh, they do um, you know, procedures on children and adults who are suffering with cancer and it's a pretty good charity to um, take part with and raise money for because we all know someone who has had it or is going through it and I don't think anyone is going to have that moment in their life where they don't have this yeah, connection with the horrible illness. Um, I've done this twice. I've done the 7 and the 13 mile um, parts of it. They do it in 3. Uh, this year they're doing 5. So they're doing uh, 2 miles and up to 5 I think it is for families with small kids. Um, then you go into the standard 7, 13, and then the maximum, which is 20, which is what I'm doing this year. Well, we are going to be doing this year. Um, so with that in mind, I was thinking about this during the week when I booked it. Um, I have like a, a bottle belt that I usually take on holiday with me, or when I've been doing the run, sorry, the walk. Um, and it holds a 500ml bottle, it's just you know, a velcro strap that goes around and it's got a bottle holder that's angled so I can grab it from my back and I don't have to put my hands are free. And then I came to the conclusion that a 500ml bottle over 20 miles is going to be really, really pointless. And they do have kind of stops on the way, but to be honest, when you're, and people who do exercise, like running and jogging and whatnot, will know that when you're kind of, mentally in that zone you just want to keep going and that is where my pro the product that I bought I'm about to review comes into mind now like I said having this five and it only holds one bottle this belt you can obviously have another one but you know it is what it is and it'll get tight because it will go I mean mine goes around my waist and it will be about sort of where, where a belt is just a little bit thicker um, you could have one sort of there, and you'd have to have another one there. So you'd have kind of like this, and it would be uncomfortable. So with that in mind, uh, I went to Decathlon, and I had a look around. And this product isn't from Decathlon. This is actually from eBay. Um, and they're pretty easy to find. Now, to put these two items together was going to cost me well over 35 quid. And... The one I actually bought uh, was on eBay, like I said, and it came to 13 quid, for, including the postage for both, and it is just a standard bag. Now, the difference with this one is that this you know, standard bag, you know, two straps, etc., um, it's got a pocket up here, which is about well, it's my, my actual wallet. Uh, it holds my wallet, and it's still quite a bit of space left in then it's got this on this I never find these things actually work it's always this bit breaks and they're never usually that tight um, it's got a couple of, kind of little net net bits here sorry, sorry. sorry just had a bit of a sneezing fit um, so it's got these two velcro no sorry these net straps which you can put whatever in um, it's not that dissimilar to my hiking bag, which I cannot for life remember the name of it. The 30 Stra Stratos, Stravos, I think it was called. So it's got you know a whole st um, a clip here, so obviously it stops it from falling off. Um, and then it's got another zip pouch on the front, which it can hold. A fair decent amount, and then that's the size of the pouch for my wallet that I put in there. But the thing that sets this apart is the fact that it comes with this. Now this, for those of you who don't know, is a 2 litre water bladder. Now, as you can imagine, going for a long walk, it's like hiking, running, biking, whatever, anything long distance, you need water. It's a fact. However, obviously carrying a bottle, if you're carrying other things, 
can you know, take up space and it's a bit awkward and you get a bit fed up. So that's where this comes in. Now this I'm not going to review because I only got this yesterday and I don't need to do it yet. But long story short is, on this bag, it took a couple of minutes to find, find out how to do this. There are holes in the straps. There's one here and then there's one up here. And the idea being, as far as I can understand, Oh, and then there's obviously two clips here which clip onto the actual bag itself. Now, I'll quickly put this together, so bear with me a minute. Okay, so, the two clips actually hold the bag in place to stop it from rocking around. Um, like I said, this blue bag is actually a two litre bottle, for a better word. And then, once we seal, imagine it's full of water. Once it's all sealed up, the tube actually comes through the side and I'm assuming that you can just kind of chuck it into the little netting bit on the side and uh, stop it from going all over the place. <coughs> it has a little on off switch on the side as you can see here, the little bit here. And then I don't know how this, how well this works, like I said I only got this yesterday. But yeah, it will be a nice little addition because the thing is, as anyone knows, it can get really tedious holding on to things whilst you're out for a long time. It's like when I go on holiday, I probably won't take this on with me because of luggage and all that. But I suppose it feels like a proton pack from Ghostbusters. So when I'm ready, I can just go like that and I can just drink straight from it on and off. And then you know, I probably will just leave it moving around. Or yeah, you know, if I can Jerry rig it somehow that I can get to it easier or I might just put it through here and then if it drips then it doesn't matter but if I stand up yeah this this is actually <coughs> a five liter yes right this is a five liter backpack with the two liter bottle holder by I mean sorry um but like I said 13 quid you cannot go wrong with this and more importantly, yeah, it's very, from what I've read on the reviews of it, the bladder itself is actually extremely easy to wash. All you literally have to do is just run some cleaner through it. Well, it says, uh, keep the peel, uh, to keep the pouch clean, inhibit contamination and prevent bacterial growth. Please follow advice. Clean the pouch with mild detergent and ensure you rinse thoroughly. Ensure the pouch is dry on both in and out before storing. Avoid storing in an area where it's subject to extreme heat or cold, harsh and harmful chemicals. Sharp objects, UV light, they will damage the bag made in China. So, as I said, I'm going to be using this when I do the 13 mile, sorry, the 20 mile run on the 8th of June this year. And then I go on holiday on the 29th, I think it is. I won't say where, because I don't want you to follow me. But if you don't want to use this at a time, this makes a pretty handy size bag. You know, the actual inside of that, like I said, about five liters. And a lot of people can probably get away with just you know, having not that much to lug around. So when I come to do, when we come to do the actual run itself, walk, whatever you like to call it, I am going to be doing a, uh, a running vlog and I can give you a, uh, a test of the bag as I go along. So with that in mind, I'm going to sign off and please, I'm going to stop myself now. I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately and I see a lot of people going, please subscribe and click the bell. I'm not going to do that. If you wanted to subscribe to me, you did it for a reason. You didn't do it because I kept telling you to do so. And I'm pretty certain some people out there will agree with me. But it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, I've got no problem with that. I don't make any money from YouTube. Because I don't upload enough content all the time. Um, so I'm not worried about that. And if you want to spread things around, by all means go ahead. Look at my playlists. And I've got some pretty cool stuff I found on there, so just go and enjoy yourself. All right, it's 10 to 5, I've got to go out, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.